We will help you explore your talents in ways you've never dreamed possible. Help you see the world as you've never seen it before. And share more with the ones you love. With our augmentations, we will help you and your family live the life you've always imagined. Seraph Industries. To learn more, visit seraphindustries.com. Technology with human evolution seems like such a good sell for man. You're building a better you. But the fact is, it's just simply not true. Human augmentation. Human augmentation. Seraph industry. Rising deaths on the street. This is a business that's driven by fear. If I don't improve myself, if I don't augment myself, then I'll be less intelligent, less capable. Less strong than the rest of the human race. Augmentation is a huge business for these corporations. And we're paying for it by sacrificing our humanity and freedom. Violent clashes. Reports of human experimentation. We have to ask the question, are we playing God? We've been integrating ourselves with technology for decades now. Replacing damaged limbs with mechanical limbs. Implanting data chips into our bodies, which give away huge amounts of information to governments and corporations all across the globe. At no point have they thought about the consequences of their actions. They actively encourage you to exchange your perfectly functional body parts for upgraded augmentations. What they are doing is ethically and morally wrong, and they should be brought to justice. Growing numbers of people experiencing... Today, Seraph Industries signed a new historic military deal. I know that they are creating uh, mass quantities of uh, military-grade augmentations. I've seen testing on them, and it's uh, very scary. Very scary types of alterations. They want to systematically turn us into machines and pump us full of their drugs. You have to take Neurocazine, one of the most dangerous and addictive drugs that exists in the world today. You have to take this drug for the rest of your life. If you don't, your body will reject your augmentations. It's a drug that's priced so highly that we are now seeing cases of high-profile people who are now out on the streets and they are begging. They are begging for drugs. They'll have their technology in your body. They could have the power to turn off your limbs, the potential to turn off your eyes. They'll be able to send messages to your brain and control your thoughts as if they have the power of God. If you don't take their drugs, they're gone. People have been abused, kidnapped, experimented on. Any kind of resistance or opposition is met with fierce and brutal terror on the people. When does this stop? When will you stand up and fight? They are killing our humanity! What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. 
The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the post clinics. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraf is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraf wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraf that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraf Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Patient X. That's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. David's waiting, Adam. We shouldn't keep him. Do you still have this? It was a gift from our first date. It was a spur-of-the-moment purchase. A joke. Well, it worked, because I forgave you for picking me up in one of those. Be careful with that. It's a first edition. David bought it for me. Are you coming? In a second. Slow poke. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. Please, Adam. I'm nervous enough. Hey, stop reading my email. I thought women were the ones who kept men waiting. 
Wow. How long ago was this taken? In grad school. Before I met you. Back when you were hobnobbing with the rich and famous, I see. I wonder if Mr. Darrow remembers you. God, I hope not. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow zones. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of. Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading visitors to Missouri. I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. It's not all new. Just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes. Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did he destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah, never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites every 10 feet. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. 
Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. Well, all she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection six. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. Richard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? Richard!
a severe hematoma. We need to repair that artery. My God, how thick was the glass? David, you in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. My God. Mr. Jensen, I, I didn't think you'd... Wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean... I, I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that well, things have been switched around a lot ever since the... Well, since the... Ever since the first attack? Yes, sir. The lab floors were pretty much demolished. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so if you need help finding someone... Where's the tech lab? It's not really a lab, sir. It's more of an office with a lot of computer equipment shoved in it. Mr. Pritchard complains about it all the time. Uh, go up the stairs behind me and take a right. You'll find it near the end of the hall. I don't suppose we moved the helipad, did we? I... I don't see how we could have moved it. <laughs> oh, you're teasing me. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Jensen. Go up the stairs to the second floor, then around the cafeteria to the exit. I think I saw Farida heading there earlier. I'll find my way. If you say so. It's... It's good to have you back, sir. keeping the SWAT team from going in right away. Doesn't he remember the last attack? You can't compare the two. Those guys were obviously military. These ones are just vandals. Vandals with guns and bullets that kill people. Look, 
David cares about his people, but he needs to protect his client's interests. Don't worry, I'm sure he's got a plan. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might seem. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Lucky for you, I'm gonna ignore that comment. We're done here. Glad I am you're back. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. I doubt I need to remind you folks that this is the second time the biotechnology firm has been attacked. The first time, six months ago, on the eve of controversial hearings set to scrutinize the company's research. With those hearings permanently on hold, many are now wondering if something else may be going on. Is David Seraph hiding something? For tonight, this is the last... All the contracts we lost because of the last attack and the Washington hearings being postponed. Now this. Damn fanatics. Do you think the news is right? That a pro-human group is behind this, Mr. Cannon? Don't spread rumors, Dabell. Sorry, sir. As if working so much wasn't bad enough. We got to defend ourselves against a bunch of self-righteous lunatics being so understaffed. You're not complaining now, are you, Dobell? No, Mr. Cannon. Sorry. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. Told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factoring. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... 
Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam, so he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us, but he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right, so how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? I'm not looking to start a firefight in there, just neutralize them. Okay, but just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance, or up close? The closer the better, I think. That way I'll be sure they stay down. You got it. The Typhoon should be in the factory labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing. Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling our thumbs waiting for. SI Security. Name's Jensen. Jensen? Yeah. I thought I recognized you. Used to be on Team 2 till that Mexican town thing went down. I gotta say, you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things change. Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Cause maybe then we can do our job. You look pretty dug in up here. What's the React Team plan? We got Alpha as point and Bravo as wing, both standing by to breach the target. We're coordinating from here, but until your boss gives us the go-ahead, we're just holding our dicks. Realistically, how much time do I have before any shooting starts? According to protocol, none. According to your lawyers, the sooner you get in there, the sooner we can hose this powder keg down and call it a day. We've got people inside. Any idea where I should look for them? Yeah. Your plant manager, Josie Thorpe, managed to slip a call out before someone snatched her cell. She said the hostages are being held in an office near the assembly labs. Makes sense. The workers were setting up for a production run, so they'd have been concentrated there. You'd know more about that than I would. Anything else? Intel on these purists. How much you got? How much you want? They communicate any demands yet? Not yet, but I get the feeling they're not that organized. Most of the guys I've seen look like street bangers and thugs. The kind who get their jollies trashing equipment. You ask me, is the man in charge you have to worry about? The leader's name is Sanders, right? What's his story? Zeke Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours in the Gulf. One of them on a recycle military bill. You mean he's augmented? Seraph told me he's not. He used to be augmented. Says his augs made him do evil shit, so he ripped him out. Now he's got a whole crew of gullible street kids listening to his crap and ready to die for him. Or kill. 
How many am I looking at down there? Hard to say. We've spotted three in the courtyard, maybe half a dozen inside. But that's a sketchy estimate at best, since we seem to be getting a loop playback off your intellicams. That shouldn't be possible. I told Seraph to make sure Pritchard overhauled the system. Well, someone inside must be tech-savvy, because all we're seeing is a loop. For all we know, there could be five, ten, or three dozen perps in there. I think I've heard enough. You sure? Wouldn't want to make your boss unhappy. I got it from here. Sit tight. Wait for Seraph's signal. Like we got a choice. time you got here. This door will take you to another roof overlooking the loading docks. Best way in. Now hurry! Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. The hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Yeah, everything seems under control. No sign of SWAT. No sign of anyone. Done, Jensen. May I ask how? A vent on the roof. 
It'll be in my report next time we discuss security loopholes. Oh, goody. I'll be sure to take notes. The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly lab that will take you to it. Got it. Anybody seen d -Rad? Probably smoking a cigarette. Why? He shouldn't be wandering off like that. Zeke wants us all on full alert. What for? 
popos ain't coming in here. Not while we's holding all the cards. No shit. You see Zeke when that hands are sneaked us? Never see no one twitch that fast. He's gonna get us out of this. Not if those popos catch us blazing. So split up.
Jensen, I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Pritchard out. Access granted. Skin it in here who buys it. Shut up, J-Ro. Trevor, you gotta calm down. Help me find something to cover up. I'm telling you, man, these hands of lovers deserve what's coming to them. Way to Hurry. deactivate it. I don't want to die. Hurry! Don't just stand there. Get us out of here. Do something. Hurry! I don't want to die. What are you doing? Get us out of here. Don't just stand there. Do something. Get us out of here. Access granted. Any dispersal device deactivated. Countdown terminated. Have a nice day. Pritchard, get word to Seraph. I found the hostages. I'm relaying good news, I hope. They're safe. And they're staying put. SWAT will have to expel them as soon as I've got the prototype. I'll tell Seraph, but don't take too long. Listen up. I need you all to stay calm, keep your voices down, and wait here for SWAT. The plant's not clear yet. Not clear? But those terrorists, they've got my wife! Your wife? She's the manager here. Josie, Josie Thorpe. They said they needed her to open the administration building. They were looking for evidence of some kind. Please, I haven't seen her since. You have to find her. I'll do my best. But right now, I need you all to stay here and wait for the police. Can you do that? 
Yes, of course. But please, hurry. You said they were looking for evidence? What kind of evidence? I... I don't know. They're purists. They think the body is sacred and shouldn't be tampered with. They probably want something that will implicate us in moral wrongdoings. Did they know about the typhoon? It's a top secret contract. How could they? And we only moved it in a few hours ago. Please, I don't think they expected anyone would be working today. And now that they're backed into a corner, you have to find my wife, please. something useful in here. Fucking passwords.
coming in here to dig up shit is one thing, but to take innocent people hostage? Keep it down, man. No one's taking anyone hostage. So why do we lock them workers up in assembly room one? To make them feel comfortable? Don't get Just wait for Zeke's orders. All I'm saying is I ain't trying to shoot up anyone who ain't aiming at me. You hear? For tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Pikin. Back now to that breaking news coming out of Detroit. Police are still not saying much about the situation, but sources tell me... ...that a militant group of pro-human activists have raided a Seraph Industries plant. Factory workers have been taken hostage... Oh! I doubt I need to remind you folks that this is the second time the biotechnology firm has been attacked. The first time, six months ago, on the eve of controversial hearings set to scrutinize the company's research. With those hearings permanently on hold, many are now wondering if something else may be going on. Is David Seraph hiding something? For tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Pikin. Back now to that breaking news coming out of Detroit. Police are still not saying much about this. Lying to us, I guess. Just like Zeke said. Hope so. Me too, man. Me too. Yo, anyone there?
coming in here. Was that hacker?
Access granted. Step away from the console. Now! would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah. But you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub in case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. show to Pikes. Are you saying we got nothing? I know, man. I think... I think it really messed up this time. Motherfucker, how are we gonna get out of this mess?
first time, six months ago, on the eve of controversial hearings set to scrutinize the company's research. With those hearings permanently on hold, many are now wondering if something else may be going on. Is David still hiding something? For tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Tigreen. Back now to that breaking news coming out of Detroit. Police are still not saying much about the situation, but sources tell me that a militant group is pro- ...human activists have raided a Seraph Industries plant. Factory workers have been taken hostage, and the entire city holds its collective breath. I think it came from around here. I knew there was nothing. Someone over there. Who's there?
disguises himself as a healer of the sick. They're the ones who are pushing for this resolution. This is all <laughs> <laughs> Lie to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same! You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Tolo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Lantern! I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, Mia La Vieja, we're leaving. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser! I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead! Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right! I'm a decorated vet, and I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady is my only ticket out of here. Listen to me. What 
Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with Oggs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? You're doing better than you think. You're still standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there, but still. I've got to exploit my advantage. And as long as I hold on to this lady here, you and the cops will be way too scared to come near me. Face it, you got outmaneuvered. The cops will be looking after civilians. They're too busy to worry about you. But if something happens to her, you will get their attention. The priorities will shift, and all you'll accomplish is getting yourself killed. I know all that, damn it. The cause is blowing up all around me. My brother's at risk. All because of what that traitor did to us tonight. I've got to fix it, but I can't when I'm stuck in here with you. Is your whole family this stupid? The workers being here tonight was part of the hacker's plan. He was counting on you using a hostage, so you'd get yourself killed and tie up a loose end. You're stumbling right into another of his traps. No, I'm not. He... He... God! I almost fell for it again! No way, man. He's not suckering me twice in one night. Get lost, chica. Before you get me killed. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cabron. Yeah, well... Maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this. Someone's gonna pay. I'm gonna keep looking Adam. until I find you! Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little shaken up, but... What about the other hostages? My husband was with them in one of the assembly labs. And I overheard talk about a bomb. Don't worry, they're safe. Oh, thank God. When those men surprised us. Mr. Jensen, they should not have been able to get in. With the typhoon being moved in and all, I double-checked the protocols myself. Yeah, I expect Pritchard's doing the same thing right now. Stay here. DPD will want to question you. But you and your husband should be reunited soon. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. You're a hero. Way to secure the terrorist leader, Jensen. Now the bastard's free to spread his lies and cause more trouble. My wife, is she all right? She's fine. A little shaken up, though. Swab will need to debrief her, but you'll see her soon. I, I don't know what to say. I, 
I think I've given up on her. You're a true hero, man. I'll find some way to repay this, I swear. There's no need for that. I was just doing my job. Don't be modest. I, I didn't recognize you before, but I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at work yet. Thank God you are. I'll be in touch. Count on it. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan? What are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired. She said the papers were lying about Mexican Town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. <laughs> <laughs> 